Underneath my workbench, an old lathe has been lying dormant for quite some time. I inherited it from my grand uncle and it stood unused in a basement for a decade and I have only tested it once before. The machine is a Bosch Combi lathe. The Bosch Combi were construction kits that were sold between the 50s and 70s. At that time, the electric motors were the most expensive part of a machine, so these construction kits were all driven by an electric motor built into a drill using a V-belt for transmission. So there were band saws, circular saws, orbital sanders and even hatch trimmers, all driven by the same motor. My great uncle replaced this drill drive with a larger motor and used this small lathe to make clocks and ornaments. Because of the different conversions, that is, the different sizes of wheels into which the V-belt can engage, the speed of the lathe could be adjusted. But this large electric motor also has direct speed control. Workpieces of different sizes can be centered in the three-jaw chuck. I would like to make some bench dogs for my mobile workbench. For this purpose I bought these 20mm rods made of beach at the DIY store. But the whole grid of my workbench has 19mm holes, so the rods have to be turned a little bit. Therefore I shorten them so that they fit into the machine in the first place. The lathe for woodworking usually comes with a hand rest where you can place and guide the turning tools. This machine however has a cross table with which tools can be guided precisely into and along the workpiece. This is used for machining metals. To work with wood my uncle clamped a piece of wood on this cross table because there was no hand rest. This is not an ideal solution but it works. I'd like to make it very clear that I know absolutely nothing about turning. For example, the jaws and the chuck should be used the other way around. I just tried to figure it out and this project is perfect for that. So don't take anything of what I'm doing as a reference, except maybe wearing the face shield, which you don't see here on the footage, but which I've always worn. In between I measure whether I've already removed enough material and when I approach the end I send the whole thing a little bit more. I want to end up somewhere between 19 and 18 millimeters in diameter. When this is done, the bench dogs are cut to length to be a little more handy.
I didn't turn them cylindrically, but slightly tapered, getting thinner towards one side. This way they get stuck in the 90mm holes. The part that protrudes over the hole can then still be set down, so that you have a surface as a stop. A chisel is not suitable here because the wood tends to split. And it works as planned. Benchuk remains stuck at a desired height and is sturdy enough to absorb impacts. Only pulling it out is not always easy. Sometimes you only get the bench dock free again by hitting from the bottom. Therefore I'm building a second version, which will not have this problem. I cut small plates with the dimensions 89 by 59 millimeters. If you measure out exactly this point and place a circle with 19 millimeter diameter there, the distance between the edges of the plate and the circle is exactly 10, 20, 30 and 50 millimeters. That means if I drill a 19 millimeter hole and glue a 19 millimeter rod there, I have a bench dock which offers between 10 and 50 mm distance to the grid hole, depending on its orientation. So you can cover larger sections with it. I drill the 90 mm holes with the depth stuff of my drill press. I do not want to drill it completely through the plates. The whole thing is then glued and clamped and left to dry for a few hours. The plate now serves as a stop and because of the eccentric position you have four different distances to the grid holes. This has the advantage that you do not have to compensate small differences with the vice when clamping workpieces, but can simply turn the bench dock. Above all, however, this allows a critical gap to be covered in which the clamping of some workpieces is not possible. If they are a few centimeters too short, normal bench docks will not work. These bench docks can then be turned to the correct distance and your workpiece can be clamped without any problems.